Hi Pisces, it's time to do your daily energy check. Spirits, what's happening with Pisces? Let's see what's in your energy today. Body, mind, and soul. What's happening with Pisces? Ten of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Moon, the Hier Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. We have Pisces and Cancer here with the Moon. Okay, so we're starting off here with the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Sun. The Tower. And the Six of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> okay, Pisces, so to clarify the Ten of Wands, I'm seeing you here carrying around a lot of a lot like it's heavy energy with this ten of wands there's something here that's very difficult for you to carry around with you but I'm seeing you moving into calmer water with the six of swords it's like you're moving into this tower so you're moving towards just tearing everything down and starting over new. I'm seeing you, you doing this. It's like you're having some type of an awakening with the sun, Leo energy. You're seeing everything clearly for what it is. This is healing also. So the sun is coming out and this 10 of wands energy you can see here that your head is down and you can't really see where you're going. You can't even see in front of your face. You're carrying around too much. And it's stuff you were determined to, to carry around in the past. I see it all ending all of a sudden. It's like um, <clears throat> you're going after your happiness here. The Six of Swords moving into calmer water, moving towards the sun, the happiest card in the tarot deck. So you're moving towards your happiness. Something, I feel like something here has become very clear to you. And you're, you're wanting to be very logical with the Queen of Swords energy and move towards a new plan. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Magician. Justice, Libra Energy. And the Hangman. Okay. 
Yeah, you're looking at things differently now, Pisces, with the hangman energy. Very logical, very up in your head here, too, with the Queen of Swords energy. You know what you want. You have a clear plan. And um, you're, you're looking at it. The universe is balancing the scales out here for you. So I feel like you have some help here. You have a push, like a wind behind you, pushing you forward into this brand new beginning with um, you manifesting the new. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay, so we have Cancer. You're wanting to move very quickly, Pisces. When you look at the, the Nine of Wands here, looking at the Chariot, it's the Chariot is the fastest moving card in the Tarot deck, but you are the Wounded Warrior here, looking at the Chariot, you know, like wanting to get things together, wanting to move quickly, wanting to move things quickly, but yet at the same time, the underlying energy here is the Knight of Pentacles. So this isn't something that you can rush, this manifestation that you're working on. It's slow but steady wins the race here. So you have to move along carefully. And um, it's with strength here, it's hard. Things are difficult. They're not easy. I feel like you could be working a lot right now. Yeah. Like things are difficult. But I'm seeing you planting the seeds on what you want. Why is the seven of pentacles here? I feel like everything's going to come together all at once for you, Pisces. Whatever it is that you're waiting for. Why is the seven of pentacles here? We have Sagittarius energy with temperance. The Two of Cups and the Seven of Cups. <clears throat> there's there's now a a connection here that's showing up in the energy Pisces that I feel like there's some confusion here or you may be um, looking at different options at this point because it's just like last night where I see that there is an energy here of waiting, waiting for this connection right here to come together you may be looking at it through rose-colored glasses. Um, you kind of have one foot in, one foot out with temperance, going with the flow, seeing how things go, seeing what happens. And then we have the Ace of Wands in the center of your reading. So there's some type of exciting news that you're going to be getting. Yeah. The Lovers, Gemini Energy, the Five of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. That's you, the High Priestess. There is a brand new passionate beginning that's going to happen with this Ace of Wands in this connection that's showing up. A brand new passionate beginning. It's like um, there's a block in communication here with someone that you're connecting with. With the five, uh, there's no communication 
you're not taking any action. The love is still here in this connection, but there's a block here for some reason. Let me try to figure out what this block is. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? <clears throat> No communication, no truth. But, um, okay, so something's going to change here, Pisces. This person's going to tell you the truth. They're going, they're coming towards you here with the Knight of Cups. This is someone where there's, there could be ghosting or literal blocking communication, but they're coming towards you here with the, the energy of the Knight of Cups. And communication and truth, Ace of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. So something's getting ready to change here where there's no communication. This is changing. Why is the moon here? The Emperor. Judgment. And the star is in reverse for some reason. Aquarius energy. So you're obviously in your emotions, feeling in the dark, feeling, feeling like there's no healing here in this connection. There's no closure. Judgment is here, and um, you could be dealing with an Aries with the Emperor showing up. But there's sadness here. It's like trying to take control. I feel like this, this healing is, is being delayed. You don't feel healed yet. You're still in your emotions about this connection with this emperor. Because there, there's an emperor here. And there, there's no gender in tarot. So I'm reading the energy. There's someone here that is so controlling and holding back. This is someone that you could have been married to. They're holding back because they walked away from you, Pisces, when there was still a lot of love here standing. And um, now they're up in their head about this betrayal. They betrayed you and walked away and ghosted you. There's something about a marriage here. Okay, so now we have Taurus energy with the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Ten of Swords. Three of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. You're looking out. You're looking out. You're looking ahead, Pisces. I'm seeing you here single with the Nine of Pentacles and energy and the Hierophant, you're, you're looking for a higher level of commitment. And this person couldn't give you that. I'm not sure what's going on with this person quite yet. What's going to happen here. But I'm seeing you single and in this Hierophant energy. Like you are a teacher. You've, you're someone who has learned the lesson. And so I'm seeing you here turning your back on the betrayal of the past, the ending of the past, 
and now looking out into your future with this new knowledge that you have and looking for a higher level of commitment here with the Hierophant. There were, there were little signs this person would give you that led up to this betrayal. There were little signs where this person would do things that bothered you and they, um, some of these things were big Pisces, but you didn't, um, you didn't want to start an argument with this person, but there were red flags before this connection completely ended and died in this huge betrayal like this. There were all of these little red flags that you, that you saw, but you didn't say anything. <clears throat> but you're taking this knowledge into your future. Two of Wands standing at the crossroads trying to decide which way to go. Which way do I go from here? Why is the Two of Wands here? You've got this knowledge. You're holding your world in your hands now. There's a new path in front of you. Nine of Cups. The Empress. And the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like with this new path in front of you, Pisces, with the Two of Wands, I'm seeing um, that it's time for you to put the work into you, the work and the love that you gave to this other person and this other connection. It's time for you to put this work and love into yourself. It's time for you to um, be your um caregiver it's time for you to look at yourself and invest in you like if as if you were taking care of someone else because you have a hard time seeing yourself and your potential is what i'm seeing here and so it's time for you to use the wisdom that you learned from this pain to invest it into yourself do things for yourself because out of doing this work for yourself and being your own caregiver like look at you yourself like you are a person that you're taking care of that you care about kind of step out of your yourself and um i'm trying to think of the right words to use here and work on you be your best caregiver like you are someone that you really really care about and put all of this work and time and energy into yourself now it's time for you to love you that's what I'm seeing here that's the lesson that needed to be learned here because the nine of cups is all about you the empress is all about you your growth and um the Eight of Pentacles is you working on you. So just like as if you were taking care of someone else, someone that you really, really care about, that's what you need to do for yourself right now, Pisces. And then we're ending here with the Ten of Cups. I feel like that's the most important lesson that was learned here. It was a lesson, it was a hard lesson that you had to learn. Because instead of giving to you, you were ignoring your feelings and giving, letting things slide because there were red flags here before this person was able to betray you that you just you just didn't really address them. You just thought, it's okay. I don't want to start anything. Yeah, okay. 
There's going to be a happily ever after, Pisces. What is going on? I'm seeing you here moving towards, um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I'm seeing you moving here towards something materialistic. Pisces, that is going to be huge with the Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like there's someone, there's some new connection that's going to come into your life here. I'm going to clarify this, but this is you crossing over the finish line, victory, success. On this card, there's a lot of people here cheering you on as you're crossing over the finish line. You're carrying a reef up here like you've, you know, you're, you're reaching the point of happily ever after, the Ten of Cups. Now you can find peace. Now you can find happiness. Now you know who you can trust. And there, this Ten of Cups, there's the King and the Queen of Cups are right here. I mean, of Wands. So this is happily ever after. This is two people coming together, happy home, happy family. And this is the person that you're supposed to be with. But who is this person? Okay, so we, in order to find out who this person is, let's shuffle these cards. I'm going to get my favorite cards here. Look at this. The Six of Wands again, a wish fulfillment, you crossing over the finish line. The star healing. The star is no longer in reverse. So no longer is the healing being delayed. Spirits, why is the king and the queen of wands here? Okay, two more shuffles. King and queen of wands. I feel like you're about ready to meet somebody. There's a brand new passionate beginning here on the bottom of the deck of wands. So there's a lot of attraction in this connection right here. Why is the king and the queen of wands here? Five of cups, the ace of cups. Ten of Pentacles. That's two people coming together. This could be a blended family. For some of you, this is the same person sending you messages, wanting to heal this connection. Um, there's there's that crossroads again in the sun. There could be something to do with a baby here. This person's feeling a lot of sadness, regret, wanting a brand new passionate beginning with you. This is two people coming together, um, creating this Ten of Pentacles where everybody's happy here. The dogs are here. Um, the family is coming together. Why is the Five of Cups here? Look at that. Okay, so there's nothing else I can say here, Pisces. I I didn't think this was going to happen at the end of this reading, but I don't get to choose. Um, whoever this reading's for, this person from the past is coming back to you. Okay, the Two of Cups is standing right right up here. 
make sure you guys can see. There's two cups standing up here. This is the two of cups. This card right here is the two of cups. And um, this person is feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of regret over what has been lost in the connection, but there's still this two of cups still standing up there. And I'm seeing a new beginning in love happening here and this connection coming back together again. Okay. So let's see if we get a counter contradicting message from the angel answer cards or not. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know about this connection? This is your soulmate. This is your happily ever after. This person is the one you're supposed to be with. Whether this is an old person for some of you or a new person. For some of you, this is the past. Okay. And I feel like there's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Because before things get to this point, it's there's a lot of red flags there are a lot of things that are unsaid a lot of little painful things that are unsaid between the two of you before there's a fallout ending betrayal like this and i feel like that's the lesson that has been learned here is to pay attention to the red flags very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, so let's grab you um, a couple of Moonology cards for advice. Advice for Pisces. Believe in the impossible and you're very close to achieving your goal. Something's going to be so much bigger than what you even wished for. Your commitment is being tested. And meditate and contemplate. So take time out for yourself. Even if you feel like you're too busy, like you don't have time, you need to make time for you. You need to care about you like you care about um, someone else, Pisces. It's time for you to acknowledge that part of you that is missing, where you're not taking care of you. Okay, I love you guys, and thank you so much for being here with me, Pisces. And I hope this helps so you can see the bigger picture of what's going on. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow. And um, please be safe and take care of you. And um, that's like, that changes everything here. You working on you and being you, your own best caregiver. I feel like that's not the right word, but that's the only word I can think of right now, Pisces. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Namaste.